What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to customize the intro video that plays right before the system gets into hyperspin every time you turn on your PC so that it plays a random video every time. Let's go over here to this PC. Let's go to media. Let's go to front end. Let's go to video. If you have ever changed the intro video, you're going to be familiar with this directory and you're going to have your own custom intro that MP4 video that you've put there. So make sure you back that up just to be safe. So I'm going to right click this copy and I'm going to right click and paste just to make a copy of that. If you've never changed that, then you don't really have to do that. All right. So you want to go into intro video randomizer and all you have to do is rename this file here. It's going to be named that VAK on your PC like that. So you want to right click that rename remove that that BAK and just leave it as randomizer.exe. Now, just by doing that, you're pretty much all set. And every time you start up your PC, it's going to play a different video from this list of videos right here. So that's all you have to do. Now, if you want to go further than that and start to customize things, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So as I said, all it's going to do, it's going to choose from these videos that I include for you, 24 of them. Each one of these is a different intro video. What you can do is you can actually review these and see if you maybe don't like some of them. You never want to see any uh, some of these. You can go ahead and you can get rid of those. So if you wanted to do that or also if you want to add your own videos here, let's say you want to add, you know, intro 25, intro 26, intro 27. You don't really have to rename them, but just to be safe, I would rename them sequentially. So let's say you add five new videos in here. Now you want those to be available as a startup video. All you have to do is go over here to intro video randomizer, delete this INI file right here, delete that. All right. Run randomizer.exe. So double click and then just follow the instructions up here. Select the file that you want to randomize. That is going to be your default intro.mp4. So if it doesn't already take you to this directory here, you can find it at media front end video. And there's your intro that MP4. That's what you want to select. All right. So open that up. Then it's going to ask you to select the folder that contains the files you want to use, which is basically the, these uh, intro uh, videos right here. So let's go to uh, this PC. Let's go to the D drive arcade. Let's go to media. Let's go to front end. And let's go to video intro video randomizer. And finally, intro videos, click OK on that. And you're going to see that in this list, you basically have all the videos that are in here. So once again, if you had added your own videos in there, now they would show up here so you can select them as an option. Or if you want to skip any videos that are here that you don't like, you can actually just do that here by not checking them. So you can just open each one and check them out and see if you like them or not. So I'm going to select all. And then you just have two options up here, or actually three options. This first option, use uh, every file before randomizing again. It's going to actually play all of them sequentially, basically, before actually starting to play all of them again from the beginning. This select from all files each time is just going to randomize the, the, the files every time. All right. So it's just going to play random. It might play one, then another, and then it might play that first one again. You know, it's random. So this add original file to random list. All that's going to do is it's going to take that uh, default intro that MP4 and it's going to add it into the mix over here with the, the with the rest of these videos. All right. Probably not going to have to uh, select that option because you're already going to have your uh, file backed up. And, uh, you know, but if you do have your your own video, custom video over here and instead of copying it yourself and pasting it over here. You can just select that option and it'll do it for you. All right. So now I'm just going to go ahead and click save and click OK. And if th when this pops up again, make sure you just hit cancel on that and exit program. Say yes to that. Now, if I go back over here, I have a random .ini once again that now has the new options I chose whether that is to leave some videos out or to add some other videos that you may have added into that folder there. So then at that point, again, you just have the randomizer.exe is already there. Make sure it's not renamed that BAK. And now every time you start up your PC, it's going to have the videos that you chose or decided not to choose from that list that came up before. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you liked it and I'll see you guys on the next one.